All right, welcome back. Um, this is episode number four. And so I, as you can see, I finished up on the tail up here. Um, this is what it ends up looking like in the sim, or at least in a uh, model converter. Um, so now what we can do, we're completely done with the sides here. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and copy this layer up to the other side. Um, some people like to paint both sides. I prefer just to paint one side and then copy to the other side as long as both sides are the same. Um, that just makes it easier for things to align on both sides. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take the blue, use my paint tool, which is keyboard P, bring the brush size up to about 25 or so. Actually, probably bigger than that, probably 40, just so we have a nice circle. We zoom in about 400%. Four, uh, Line our cursor up right in the middle here as best we can, just eyeballing it. And we have a mark now. So this mark won't show up on anything on the model, but it will help us in setting it correctly on the other side. So what we're going to do, go ahead and we will, uh, let me drag my screen here. There we go. We'll go ahead and we will duplicate that layer. And we'll make that left. So that's going to be the left side now. So I'm going to change my to my move tool, which is M. Now we're going to do uh, make sure we're highlighted on the left layer. We'll go layer, transform, and on the hawker we have to flip it horizontally. So now we flipped the layer horizontally, and we can move it up here. So we're going to go ahead and press M, and grab and drag all the way up to the top and just place it around there. Now we go ahead and go in here and we basically just center that mark as best we can. There we go. So now we have that all completed and um, we'll go ahead and we'll export that. And we will reset the texture. And if we go look on the back here, as you can see, we have a perfectly lined up paint between both sides. Do a free rotate. And you have the very basis of our paint already starting to form. Now from here on, I'm basically just going to build off the left side um, because everything else is basically focused on how I have everything set up right now. Um, Okay, so um, at this point we're going to go ahead and do the engines and I'm just going to do them so that they align with what's on the fuselage here. Um, the engines aren't that big of a deal to me at the end of the day. Um, I'd rather have everything kind of look correct as I should say, rather than trying to keep everything. Because um, we'd have a nasty mix up between colors here and I just don't like the idea of that. Like I said, I do my best just to paint as best I can. Um, and I know there's already some areas that I've missed on this paint, um, but they're so minuscule that I don't care that much about them. I'd rather just have um, a good representation of the paint in the sim. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start with um, a new layer group called Engine LO, stands for Engine Left Outside. Because um, we're going to have to paint both the outside and side, inside of the engines. Which is nice about Henry's paint kits is typically he has the engine insides as just one mask. So we only have to have one layer group for the insides. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer called blue. Once again. Um, and we will scroll down here. Here's the left engine outside. Zoom in and we will start creating our layers. So... I'm going to zoom in on the model. Looks like right about here. So, so I'll typically do my best to place them correctly. There we go. Let's try right about here. Oops. And about in line right here. 
and I typically will export this out first before I add any curving to it. Um, sometimes they look well enough without the curving because of the curvature of the model that you don't need to add it, but we'll look in here. So I definitely need to move everything up a little bit. That up some, that up some. This needs to go up a decent amount more from what I remember. Yeah, this needs to go up a lot more. And that one needs to go up a little bit right about there. So we'll export again. Like I said, this is all trial and error right now. So that looks pretty good right there. I need to bring that down a bit and that down a bit. But this is one, of, as you can see, kind of, it doesn't, it's a straight line, but it, because of the curve, the engine almost seems sort of curved. But we're going to add a little bit of curve here. And this is going to mess up our points somewhat, but it's not going to change it a lot. So as you can see, export is my favorite tool when doing this. Um, I'm exporting a texture probably two or three times every minute when I'm in the zone and not distracted. So that's pretty spot on. That needs to go up more. That needs to go up some more. Yeah, we need to bring that up a little bit more too. I'll try that now. It's about as pretty spot on as we can get for this almost. So if you remember too, when we created the black last line last time, we duplicated the layer edit control shift and click to get rid of these anchor points change this over to black and we're going to stroke path um we'll try five to start um so the engine stripes you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to play around it's not gonna be the same stroke width as it was on the fuselage um you have to play around and see what works so when we load here black is Five, eh, probably need a little bit more. So we'll stroke it at six next time. Waiting for it. Here we go. And that's probably about spot on there. And Looking at it, um, we could probably move it a little bit more, um, but once again, this is one of the things where I'm like, it looks visually close enough and no one's ever gonna look that closely at a paint MSM, so it's a good representation. So that covers the engine stripes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this engine. Um, and then we're going to use the same process again to copy this over to the right outside right here and then also the insides out here. So by the time I get to the next video, we'll be done with the engines and we can talk about winglets.